How good has it been to be back to be back in the starting eleven these past two games and playing a full nineties? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Um, Saturday, I think. Uh, was a good response to going behind, but um, I think overall I feel like we should have won the game. Um, but yeah, overall I feel like I've played well, um, but obviously yeah, I think there's more to come from me. What? How? When you say there's more to come from you, what is that cementing your play at least getting more game time in and then that, obviously that will just flow from there? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think obviously I can contribute to setting goals up and uh, scoring some important goals so um, I know obviously we've got uh, we've got good attackers in the team but I think uh, goals they can come from anywhere uh, I think they've got to try and come a bit more from midfield um, and once we get more goal scorers I think um, we'll get better results as well How frustrating is it you know when you when you're in the team and you go out for a little period and you know, obviously you're back in now how how tough is it to be you know you've got to remain patient yeah, it's just part of the game, really. Um, part of us having a good squad um, that you know that if you're not at it, then someone is there who can come in and take your place. Um, and then once that happens, it's just about working hard and trying to get yourself back in the team. And then when the opportunity comes, um, it's about taking it and contributing to the team. What kind of things does Grant say to you, George, on like a day by day basis compared? You know, when, if you're in the team, then out. Does it differ or is it kind of still the uh, same? No, it's position? the same. You're always in and around the so the tactical stuff. So you've got to be switched on in case, like in my case where it was last the other week at Grimsby where you get a call in the warm-up to play. So you've always got to be switched on in terms of the tactical stuff or anything like that. You've got to know if you are going to get a late shout that you're going to come in and you've got to do your job because, like I say, they're the opportunities you're going to get, whether it's last minute or you get it a day before, you're going to need to do your job for the team and hopefully you can do it well enough to stay in you've just mentioned you know the competition within the group how much did that does that breed success you know I can imagine how intense training sessions are with people playing for places yeah it does it, it brings a standard up but that's what we want we want people to come in if they when they come in and play well um, that's what the squad's there for um, obviously if we've got injuries in certain places then we've got people to come in and perform and that can that breeds confidence in the group, knowing that we trust everyone that they can do the job, no matter if um, if they've been playing or not been playing. Like you've seen last week, where Hursty he's not been not been a reg, not been regular playing, but then he comes in and gets us a point which we needed. So yeah, it's it, like I said, it breeds confidence within the group that we know that players coming on, whoever's playing, will do a job for the team. Uh, Swindon up next on Saturday. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, it'll be a tough game away from home, um, but we're prepared. We know what we need to do. Um, everyone's focused in, in getting them three points on the board like we thought we should have last week. Um, they're a good team. They've got some good players who recruited quite well. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a challenge, but one that we're ready for. And finally, you know, from that defeat against Chesterfield, Don, uh, you know, Rose and now three unbeaten, two wins out of three as well. Oh. Does that just show how good this group is in, or you know, responding to a difficult result? Yeah, I mean, that, we spoke about that after the Chesterfield game that we've got to respond and put points on the board, which we've done. We felt like we couldn't, we should have had more points on the board. But I think which is a good thing coming from the group, um, showing that we're not content at where we are, that we need to push on and and win a game after game. So um, I think we're in a good place, obviously, but uh, we know that we can give more.